A couple of nonprofit groups in Butte say they want to see if the public would like to start a food cooperative in the mining city. MTN's John Amy tells us how this type of store would work with a little bit of help from the public. In the wake of losing two grocery stores in Butte, some nonprofits are asking if it's time to open a food cooperative here. A food cooperative, a community-owned grocery store, will only work if people embrace it. The National Center for Appropriate Technology and Headwaters RCD will hold a public meeting next week to see if there's interest in starting a community-owned store in the former Hennessy Market location on East Granite Street and it can be just a great hub for a community and can really support local farmers and ranchers um, and provide you know, healthy, affordable food to a community. A co-op works by members of the community investing in the business. Just a small stake might be 30 or 50, $100, and you are a co-owner and it's democratically controlled. Um, any profits? stay with the owners, um, but it's not an out-of-state corporation that's owning it, it's we the people right here in our own community. Organizers of this plan say this is a really good time to start exploring the option of opening a co-op in Butte because they already have a location in mind and the cooperation of the owners of this building. But we've been in touch with uh, Nick and Jen Kiava, um, who own this building and, and own all of the equipment. They are been, have been very supportive of, um, and patient to um, see if the community wants to pull together and, and acquire this uh, business. But cooperation is key. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. The exploratory meeting will be this Monday at 5.30 in the evening in the ballroom of the Thornton Building, 65 East Broadway. The public is welcome to attend.